And welcome back. So, this is the way down. Let's see if we can find the secret path. Hold on. There we go. This should be it. Yay, there we are. Power cell. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Nice. Do I have to go up again or can I just continue to go down here? That's, uh, that's probably it. Wait, what? Can you actually go up there usually? What? No way, this is where I came in. Okay, this is where I have to go up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, here we go. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. No, let's hear it. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy. Buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines, so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected... They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. 
so Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. Yes. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? <clears throat> an old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, yes. half the tribe was in exile, <laughs> desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus, 
and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora Mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Well, let's build our new lens. Shadow, but first we have gonna to tell grab that our the big armor. are ready to strike. After what happened with Derval, I know he'll defend the city with the spire. Okay, skills. What do we do? <sighs> Just chance for resources when looting down machine. I guess that is the way to go. This is the way. Let's go. Is there not a rapper point? Do I really have to go down here? No, I don't have to go down here. Probably there is only. Page up, page down. There we go. So, we're gonna get our armor first. Where was that? Where were you in the beginning? That is the bunker. That is the campfire. Let's get our armor. The ancient armor. And I think with that we're gonna wrap things up anyway and then we'll leave the next episode for the end of the game for the next recording session don't do a second one now mm -mm. it is quite late so just for you guys who are wondering what I'm what I'm doing actually I'm recording always a f couple of episodes in advance so I'm doing one session and then I get done maybe five six seven episodes um, and then at some other day, I'll do the next ones. So I'm always a bit ahead. So if you guys start to comment, for example, on this episode, I'm already seven episodes ahead. So I won't be able to change everything in the, in the close. Um, yeah, 
in the uh, in the close future, but I consider that basically for episodes to come. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, so we're good with medicals. Let's take the short exit, the uh, short entrance. I think it's not supposed to happen, but it works, but... As long as it works, we'll take that entrance. Uh, the scrapes! Wing! Ancient armor, here I come. I actually don't remember what the attributes of that armor are. I don't know if it's any good. I think I know it looks badass, but Ugh. Gonna have to run my boots dry. Wait, wrong one. Hey, what am I doing? Just go in here. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power See, the that's the release the clamps. That's the cool armor we get. So, cute. Prepare a fuse. Two more. Prepare a fuse. Just one more. Prepare a fuse. There we go. The last one. He's all powered up. Now to get the dials in position. 90 to there 70. There must be some kind of code. 360, 450. Okay, so 90, that's that. 270 is that. 360 is up. And right. And then... Same thing again. Right. And left. Did it. We have a look at that armor inside. All right, now let's see what we can do with this material. So let's head outside and see how the armor looks. <laughs> Needed wear our outfit box. Okay, that's cool. the one who has the force shield. The funny thing is that thing this thing looked so dope on the Fresh as it comes. It looked so dope on the rack, but it the use of your plates. I guess it's kind of like in the game style, but oh that's so sad. Well, as said, we're gonna wrap things up here. We have to go all the way over to Meridian? Wait. Oh, it was in the jungle, yeah, true. Okay, so we have to go all the way over to Meridian and we're gonna just quickly fast travel here. But we'll do... Oh, come on, let's do the... Let's do the Hunter's Lodge quest. Let's just complete that. It's 20 minutes. We'll just knock that out of the way and then we'll end the episode.
I don't know, do I get actually new skill trees, new skill abilities when I start frozen walls? I can't remember. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see. We're close to find out. So much stuff. Kept the wheel turning all day, and by the forge, I believe I've. Eh, hey, get out of the way. I'm wearing the ancient armor. No Don't good in my way, dude. Maybe upstairs. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so loud, I'm still deaf in one ear. A crazy Osiron tried to kill our Sun King. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Though, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. Mm-hmm. That was a red mar. Let's see if we can kill red mar really quick. Uh, maybe we'll start off Red Mao in the new episode. Yeah, it's better. It's 23 minutes. That's too much. Well, I'm gonna catch you guys with killing Red Mao in the next episode. We're gonna knock that out, and then we'll end the session. See you soon.